the spotlight today is Los Angeles-based Nigerian filmmaker Tony Ibrahim Adekeye and his high-flying Bigger Than Africa documentary. From the west coast of Africa to North and South America, Cuba and the Caribbean, the Yoruba came in mass. The story of the resilience of the Yoruba culture and how it survived the harshness of slavery to remain alive in different parts of the world, including in the United States of America, Brazil, Cuba and Trinidad and Tobago, has earned series of plaudits from global critics. The Toyin Ibrahim Adekeye-directed documentary has made special screenings across notable platforms, including at the United Nations, and has received commendation, including from Cannes and Toronto film festivals. Reminds me of the pain of my ancestors. Spirituality is embedded in human. Adekeye became inspired about making the film after a thesis research led him to an American village in South Carolina called Oyotunji. Hundreds of years after their arrival to the New World their culture. I was researching, I wanted to do something that kind of reflected me, something that reflected, you know, home. And um, I came across a village in South Carolina called Oyotunji. And so I put, you know, my crew together that year and uh, we went to South Carolina. When I got there with uh, my crew, uh, what I saw on Grand was, you know, kind of like, you know, shocking, you know, uh, coming from Nigeria and now finding a village, um, I mean, a village in North America, you know, so, and a Yoruba village at that. The black people that had no knowledge of where they came from, had no knowledge of ancestors. Baba was a part of many black nationalist movements. They went to Detroit, Michigan at Aretha Franklin's father church. Detroit Police Department showed up and just unloaded on the church. And they started shooting up the church. We had women and children with us. Our soldiers fired back until they had no more ammunition. Meanwhile, the Black Panthers got a hold of what was happening to us. Yoruba culture did not teach turn the other cheek. On the contrary, Yoruba culture celebrates the god of war, absolutely execrates their oppression. African history are documented to an extent, you know, at least that's how I feel as an African, you know, and maybe our history, I know like, you know, reading down or something, but we all have grandfather, great grandfather, and they can tell you who is related to who, who is, you know, who come from where and all of that. Our story has always been that, you know? So, I mean, who, who should be dictating what is authentic and what is not really, you know? So uh, we have always been, you know, an oral tradition society. So uh, that is, you know, what I'm trying to, uh, that's, that's uh, what I mean when I say, you know, we can look at it in two different ways. Your Bible played a role in liberation struggle in Latin America and in the struggle for human rights. Recorded across six countries over four years amid interviews with prominent custodians of the culture in different climes, Bigger Than Africa showcases the beauty of the culture, how it was sustained beyond the coast of West Africa. The biggest lesson I learned was that uh, being a Yoruba guy, born and raised in Nigeria, you know, I, I now know that uh, we do not know enough of the Yoruba experience, you know, beyond, you know, the shores of, uh, of Nigeria or West Africa. Only those who has interest in things like that or who research into things like that are, you know, the one that are aware of it. So, I also think that the government, you know, need to emphasize the importance of history classes in school. They, you know, they can't have history classes, you know, this year, next year, you take it off, you know, the syllabus and things like that. It has to be, I think it has to be one of the compulsory, you know, uh, subjects. I'm not sure now if it is in Nigeria, but I know there was a time where it wasn't anymore. So. I think it has to be because, you know, I mean, uh, 
you can be somebody else. Sexuality is embedded in human beings. The superstructure, what sort of manifests spirituality, is what we call religion. Today, the world has become a global village, and many researchers have warned that some cultures are at a risk of going extinct. While Adeke believes this is unlikely for the Yoruba culture, he recommends that proactive steps must be taken to mitigate such scenarios. Para a emancipação, para a liberdade do povo que estava negro, africano, que estava aqui escravizado. I, I mean, I don't think we're going to lose it. I, you know, I don't think we're going to lose it. But, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's getting watered down. You know, it's getting watered down. And part of the reason for that was because, you know, um, the society, you know, uh, teaches us to gravitate towards foreign culture. Everything foreign is the best, you know? And nothing has been promoted that is ours, you know? I mean, I, I will, I will give you a private uh, example. Way back, you know, the kind of music that we listen to in Nigeria are foreign music, not, you know, Afrobeat and, and things like that. So, when the Afro, they, they, when the Afrobeat uh, uh, guys came up, you know, and the world started to feel that authenticity of the African drums and, you know, the kind of beat that they're producing, now they're on top of the world. So that's an example for us to, to kind of like, you know, see clearly that, you know, your authenticity it's what's going to, you know, get you to where you are. We can be somebody else. We can only be ourselves. The Yoruba were a people who came from a thriving empire, an empire that had subject states, an empire that was well-organized, well-structured, well-founded. While Bigger Than Africa is a focus on the impact of the Yorubas on global culture, Adeke, who was born and raised in southwest Nigeria, admits that other African yeah, cultures strong. also have stories they can be proud of. Since our ancestors came and he said, we are your children, I go, do not throw us away. But for me, it's a very sad song because it reminds me of the pain of my ancestors. This, this uh, Bigger Than Africa is a documentary uh, that kind of like um, follows the journey of the Africans through the lens of Yoruba culture. You know, but I mean, not only the Yorubas who are taken as slave, they are, you know, every tribe, you know. But all these tribes, you know, that left the continent also have uh, impacted or has done something significant here, here, you know, and there when they got here, you know, the Igbos have, you know, uh, a lot of impact here in the U.S., the enslaved Igbo people here in the U.S. So I can go on and on and on, the Angolans, the Ashanti in Ghana and Jamaica and things like that. So, uh, uh, these are things that kind of interest me. So this is, uh, this is my first, but there's going to be a lot more to follow. We started shooting up the church. We had women and children with us. Our soldiers fired back until they had no more ammunition. Meanwhile, the Black Panthers got a hold of what was happening to us. Bigger Than Africa now streams on Netflix. Within the secular uh, world, they preserve that inner system of beliefs, of relationship with outside phenomena, with nature, and this in turn manifests itself in cultural production, which these slaves took across the Atlantic with them.